Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will show that one more than two raised to the power in odd number is always a multiple of three. Because we know two in plus one is in odd number, so two raised to the power in odd number plus one. And that I can do by first writing the left side of the equation in the form 2n plus 1 equals 2 times 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1. We can, uh, because we can separate this plus 1 power to write it like this. Now, I again want to write 2 raised to the power 2n into another form. I'm first writing this, and I can write 2 raised to the power 2n plus 1 in the form 2 raised to the power 2 in the whole power n plus 1. Now, 2 raised to the power 2 is 4, and I can split 4 in the form of two terms to write it in the form 3 plus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 1. I call this equation 1. Now, 3 plus 1 raised to the power n uh, can be expanded by using binomial theorem. And and we know from binomial theorem that a plus b raised to the power n can be expressed in the form of sum of this form n factorial divided by k factorial n minus k factorial a power k into b power n minus k. That is, the n power of the sum of two variables or two numbers can be written in the form of a summation like this. And if we compare the left side of binomial theorem with our expression 3 plus 1 power n, we can expand this, to this thing in terms of binomial theorem. So to this end, I write this in the form of 3 plus 1 power n equals this whole sum. And I can write this like this. And then for a, I will write 3. So I can write 3 power k and for 1 I will write and for b I will write 1 to put it into this form. Now 1 power n minus k is an integer and 1 raised to the power n integer is always 1. And this one in the, in in fact we have n terms inside the summation and this 1 power n minus k is multiplying with every term inside this and whatever the integer it may be this is always 1 so I put this equal to 1 and uh, next I separate the k is equal to 0 term from this summation or from the series and write it in the form n factorial divided by 0 factorial for k factorial and k is equal to 0 I will write this 0 factorial and for this I will write n minus 0 factorial and then for this I will write 3 power 0 and then I write the summation with lower uh, sum equal with lower limit equal to 1 that is I write it in this form. So um, now, uh, 0 factorial equals 1 and n minus 0 factorial equals n factorial. Therefore, we have n factorial divided by n factorial. Again, this whole ratio or this whole uh, factor is 1. And then 3 raised to power 0 is again 1. So this whole term, in fact, reduces to 1. And I write it like this. And I write this term as it is. Now, I want to factor this 3 into two factors to write this like this. And uh, I can write 3 power k as 3 times 3 power k minus 1. So I can write it like this. Now, I can take this 3 to the left of the summation to put this side of the equation into the form 1 plus 3 times the summation in 3 power k minus 1. Now, this is uh, an n term series, and every term of this series is a number. Then uh, the sum of n terms is again, then the sum of n number is again a number. So I again replace this whole summation with a number, and I use that number to be p, so I can put this right side of the equation in the form 1 plus 3 times p. I'm writing this p for the resultant of this whole series, and that is, in fact, a number. Now, if I replace this value of 3 plus 1 power n in equation 1 at this position, I can write 2 power 2 n plus 1 plus 1 in the form 2 times uh, this whole thing and then plus 1. 
And now if I remove the brackets, I can multiply 2 with 1 to make it 2 and 2 with 3p to write it 3 times 2p and plus 1. I can combine this. I can add this 1 to 2 to write it 3 plus 3 times 2p. And I can take 3 common from these two terms to write it in the form 1 plus 2p. And now again, 1 plus 2p is an odd number, and I replace that number with m to write it 3 power m. So we can write this thing is 3m, which is in fact our claim. So um, 2 raised to the power an odd number plus 1 always um, uh, results in multiple of 3. Thanks for watching.